pressure due to a fluid column. When an object is submerged in a fluid, the fluid can only push on it or compress it. The compression force is always a normal force. That is, always perpendicular to the surface of the object and is independent of the orientation of the object. If we consider an element of fluid at rest, the element will be in static equilibrium if the sum of components of forces in any direction will be zero. Now let us study the variations in liquid pressure with its depth. For this we consider a liquid of density in static equilibrium in a container. Let us select an imaginary cylindrical volume element of height dy and cross-sectional area A at a depth Y from the surface of the liquid. The volume of this cylindrical element is V. V is equal to A into dy. Its mass M is equal to Rho into A into dy and its weight is dW is equal to mg is equal to Rho A dy into G. Now the downward force acting on the top of the cylinder is PA and the upward force acting on the bottom of the cylinder is rho plus d rho into a. Another force acting due to the weight of the cylinder is in the downward direction. Therefore, in equilibrium position, both the upward and downward forces thus balance each other. Thus we have PA plus dW is equal to P plus dP into A. PA plus dW is equal to PA plus ADP. Therefore, dW is equal to ADP. Therefore, Rho G A D Y is equal to A D P. Therefore, Rho G is equal to D P upon D Y. Equation 1. This equation shows that the pressure increases with the increase in the depth of the fluid. This equation is true for any incompressible fluid. Now consider an open vessel containing the fluid. Therefore, at depth Y is equal to zero, the upper surface of the liquid is subject to atmospheric pressure PA. So to obtain the absolute pressure P at the depth Y, is equal to H, we need to integrate equation 1. Thus, we get integration from PA to P of dP is equal to integration from 0 to H of rho GDY. 
Thus, B minus B A is equal to rho G H. Therefore, B is equal to B A plus rho G H. This equation too represents that the absolute pressure P at a depth H is greater than the atmospheric pressure PA on the liquid surface open to the atmosphere by amount rho GH. Again, this difference P minus PA is equal to rho GH is known as gauge pressure.